Hello viewers, welcome to our continuing program using Akikad. Today I want to show you how we can uh, draw electrical circuit diagram based on uh, the drawings which you have here. <coughs> You'll find that in this paper you have been told that it's an electrical, electrical circuit and then you have been asked to use appropriate computer software to, to, to design the PCB and then print and hand over the hard copy. So this is just an uh, electronic circuit with an input, resistors, diodes mm, and buzzer mm, and then so that there might be a capacitor too. Here we are just going to use lines, lines, circles and maybe rectangles to come up with this particular circuit diagram. So we are going to start and show you how we can design this particular circuit diagram and show various components as placed and also has been advised here using the AutoCAD. So we're going to use the AutoCAD software design to design this particular PC. So this is our PC on the right. That's our PC on the right. So I'm going to show you how now we can use AutoCAD to design this particular PC. So first of all, when you come to AutoCAD drawing, you simply pick a line tool. After picking the line tool, you just draw a straight line. Just draw two straight lines like that can put your auto mode on so that it can be uh, look something straight let's draw two of them then when you reach there we have got that yeah. so I can use my copy command again so that I can uh, when I come to modify I use uh, the copy command so I can do copy I can copy this line. Then uh, that is there. Then I use my line tool again to continue. So as we continue, we need to connect it to this other side. And then click. So this is the first step. So as I said earlier, we're just going to use simple command tools in uh, resolving that particular drawing. Then so I simply use another line. Then up to reach somewhere there. Then you come down. I can also join with another line here. Yeah. And then also join it with this other line. Something like that. So here, at this corner here, we have a capacitor. So we can reduce our capacitor. Just a matter of drawing like. Uh, two lines or a line then we we, we trim uh, you can do the move command from there to there I can also copy just type CO for copy uh, then I can now do trim you can do TR for trim enter enter again so that's our capacitor that is C2, which you see here. So after designing the capacitor, now we come back. So I want to design our diode. A diode, you simply come and use uh, a polygon, because it's three-sided. Mm -hmm. Or you can simply use lines, because our diode reaches somewhere there. Let's draw a simple diode. You can zoom in, remove your auto mode. And then maybe place it up at that particular point. Now you can center this line. Mm. 
just a minute. Yeah, sorry for interruption. So we were continuing with our this circuit diagram in this particular paper on my right side. So we are using AutoCAD. So I was in the process of drawing a diode. So a diode, uh, I simply draw like that cut small using lines. And then you add another additional line here. And put the auto mode on so that it looks straight. Yeah. Then I trim. You can just type TR for trim. You press enter. Enter again. Then you trim it up. That's our diode. Then from there we have our resistor. We want to design this resistor. Just pick a rectangle. Just draw it along there. Just a small rectangle. Then you also type trim. Then you trim the inside line like that. Another one, you also have our buzzer. To do the buzzer, these are components which you can always insert, but I'm going to show you you can design one because there are sometimes when you can design a component and it does, does you, when you're looking for a component, it does not appear here. So you always have to design one. So for the buzzer, you, you just break a line from that point. There's like a small line. Uh, you can copy. Let's do CO for copy. Press enter. You can copy this down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and then now from there, you can draw your buzzer. So your buzzer, to draw the buzzer, you just pick a line. Or just type L for line. And then you draw... A buzzer, you can use the circle. You can have your circle. Yeah, that's our buzzer. Because they don't have exact measurements, so long as it's a symbol which can look proportional with your drawing, then you're good to go. Then you can type TR for trim, press enter, press enter again. Then now uh, you trim this off. Then you also trim this up. That will be our buzzer placed there. And then also here, now we can introduce another rectangle to represent that. You can pick a rectangle tool. Just draw it a smaller rectangle there. Now you can move it up from the center. it with that. I can also now join using the line from here. You can remove your auto mode and then join it with this particular line. And see what I'm doing there. You can also mirror this line. Just do the mirror. Select the object. Hit your enter key. Then uh, mirror it there. So we've designed that. So you can trim these lines off. See, I'm trimming. Yeah. So, this is our simple drawing for this particular circuit. These ones, now you can also use a rectangle tool to draw that. Now, these ones you can reduce their length, their line, their that line. So this is our output and input. So we have the indicated our buzzer, we have indicated our resistance, we have the capacitors shown, and also we've got uh, our input and output indicated there. So from there now we are going to re re rename all these with texts so that we can rename our components, like the capacitor, also, we need to show, you can have a circle there, you can have like a small circle here, you can copy the same, same circle, you 
can just copy and place it there for you things to show in negative and positive. Yeah. So you can show positive and negative. So for the positive, you simply come to text. We have our text here, or you can come to annotate. Then you pick your text. So when you have your text there, you, you can now show maybe for the text, you can just click and then it, it opens. You just do plus sign using shift and plus. Yeah, it appears there, you can move it. Right there, and then another text for minus for the negative. Just do a minus. Yeah. And then you also this one, you can also move it there to show it is positive and negative. So this this part. We still have text. You can have your text again. This is 102. Just click first corner and the last corner. Then you type one and then also another text. You click first corner, first corner, then just type two. That's how we type. Then you can simply use your move command and then move it a little bit so that you can know the naming of, of that. So that's one and two. You can see here. And then you also have resistance one. So you simply come to text and then you draw where you want to type. You can do R1 to make it caps. That means resistance one. I can copy this text so that I can now stick a CP and to copy this text. This one is called uh, D1. This is Q1. Just place there. This is C1. Yeah. So it's easier now you can edit this text. Just R1. This one, you simply double click. Then you give it a name. It's D1. You can see D1 there. Then also this one. Just double click that text. Highlight. And then you do Q1. Or QI and then this one also just double click then I light and then do C2 maybe there is C1 somewhere yeah so that's how we use a simple AutoCAD tool to design such an electronic circuit then we also have the buzzer you can simply copy Just copy, pick a base point near that object, and then you come and edit and type it buzzer. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, that's how simple we can use our computer edit design to design such a very PCB so that we can now plot and print. So, this is our simple PCB, we have all our text shown there. This text, you can also increase their sizes when you double click on a text, highlight. So here you can see we have what we call text height. You can do a text height of one, hit your enter key. So you can see it remains there. You can also double click, highlight. Maybe you can make it maybe 0 0.5 with that text height. So it becomes more visible. So that's our buzzer. I can match properties, matching properties under home. You come to properties. Yeah, you have match properties. So when you click match properties, you select the source object as shown in the command and then the destination object. So all of them will be having the same size so that they can be visible. You can see that. Yeah. So this one you can move up a little bit. Yeah. So using our AutoCAD, we have seen how we are coming up with such a particular uh, drawing of a circuit diagram. We can also have, you can also draw circles, to use, do connections. Just come and pick your circle, you draw a small circle, because those are connections. 
Yeah. Then from there, you can use your hatch tool. Or you can just simply type hatch. And then you fill these areas. Eh? You pick a pattern which is solid. Then you pick that. You can see that's a connection. So you can simply copy this connection to other parts. Go there. Then you select, press the center of the bed to the base point. There's like another connection here. There's another connection also here. And there's another one at this particular point. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see now we have a complete design of a PCB using AutoCAD. This is our input. And just copy one of the text, double click. And then now you can type input yeah. Yeah. so the next question which arises was print and hand over the hard copy so after doing all this you can still copy you can just do copy from the keyboard you do something like that so this is our simple electronic circuit which you are given here so we have positive and negative input one or two lines we have resistors that symbol for d1 c1 the buzzer and the capacitor so that's a very simple way of using autocad to design such an object then the next question I have to print and hand over in ad hoc copy now to print you simply come to the application tab then you come to print so in the plot dialog box you pick a printer maybe if there's a printer connected to this machine you can select from here mm. but now you don't have you can convert it into pdf you can do a pdf and then i pick my paper size the paper size it can be a4 you can do a4 i can do a4 for yeah and then what to plot is a window so that means you can draw a window around this to cover the whole project then you center your plot and then you click ok so that's you can give it a name as PCB then you click save When you click save now, you will see our project has been done and printed in hard copy. This is what we have initially here. So that, that question is well answered and also printed into PDF using AutoCAD. Thank you so much. So next, we are going to see is to see how we can now do what we call this a schematic diagram for also like an electronic circuit where we have capacitors, resistors, mm, VCs. It's the same same way we've done with the previous one, but just a matter of drawing rectangles and lines and texts, and then placing your symbols there. Thank you so much. Let's meet in the next lesson.